Okay, so we're going to create some 3D text here. Let's get started. I'll go down to the new comp icon and create, choose a new comp. I'm going to go with the HDTV 2997 option. You can change it if it's defaulting to 24 or something else, but that's what you want to be set at. HDTV 1080 2997. <clears throat> Excuse me. I call this 3D text with environmental map and we'll click OK and we'll grab the text tool and we'll type in some text hit the V oops click off and then hit the V key and center that text we're gonna go ahead and make that 3d and we're gonna add a new camera so we'll go layer new camera go with the default that's fine for now and while I'm here, I'll hit the C key and rotate that text a little bit. Again, the C key controls the camera. You've got your uh, X and Y control. Hit C again, you've got your <clears throat> depth control. Hit it. This one I, I rarely use because it, it's kind of hard to control. It kind of rotates in every direction. Um, this one just rotates on a certain axis, you go up or down. It's, it's all a little tricky. But anyways, that is what we're gonna do. So now that we've created our text and we have added a camera, our text is 3D, we need to make sure we are set to the Cinema 4D Render Engine. Uh, right now mine is displayed, but if yours isn't, go to Composition, Comp Settings, and right here you'll see 3D Renderer. You can click on that and you may be set to Classic 3D. You probably are. Go ahead and change it to Cinema 4D and click OK. By doing that, we add some controls down here to our text layer. So we're gonna go down to Geometry Options and let's go ahead and choose a bevel style of, let's do Angular. Set a bevel depth to 10. We'll set our extrusion depth to 100. And now we have 3D text. Now just like this, we can see it um, a few different ways. Basically, we need some sort of light on this text. Now we can go up to Layer, New, Light, and add a light. This can be a little tricky, but you can see it's working. And if I rotate it, you can kind of see the text. But if you play around with the light a little bit, you'll see that it is not the easiest tool to deal with. There we go. But it has X, Y, and Z controls just like every other tool. And you could just use this, and you can animate this, which is nice as well. But we're not going to use this. So I'm going to select the light and delete it. Instead, I'm going to go to the text layer. I'm going to go to the word animate, and I'm going to click side color brightness and this will control the color of the sides of these letters if I darken it down now we have 3d text now we could stop right there and have something that's pretty cool um, and again you can come up and use the camera tool the C key to uh, move this or animate it or create some cool stuff uh, but we're gonna take it a step further um, and while you're here, feel free to play around with the bevel and kind of you can kind of see the difference it has sort of controlling the fatness of this text. If I go to convex, it gives you a little bit of a round bevel. And if you add a stroke, it usually kind of sets off the bevel. So anyways, there we got that. Now let's go ahead and create a reflection. So in order to create a reflection, we need a floor for it to reflect onto. So we're going to go Layer, New, Solid. Click OK. This is going to cover our screen. We're going to make it 3D. And we are going to rotate it 180 degrees on the X axis. So we'll hit R. We'll go to the X axis and rotate it, I'm sorry, 90 degrees to flatten it out. And then we will move it. <clears throat> right below our text and we will then go down to and we'll go ahead and label it floor 
and then we'll go down to its material options. Under its material options, we need to turn on its reflection intensity. <clears throat> As you can see, that's working. But I want to turn down its reflection sharpness. I'm going to set it down to 50%, so there's some fall off in the reflection. If I set this to full res, you'll see it actually looks really nice. And now my floor is not quite covering the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of these red points and pull it out. <clears throat> and there we go. And again, we could stop right there and have something very cool. We could take our camera and we could hit the C key and have some very cool camera moves with our text and reflection moving at the same time. But we could take it another step further. And that would involve adding an environmental map. Environmental mapping controls, it basically throws reflections onto your text. So you have to tell the text to be accepting of reflections. The floor already is, because we have one. Uh, and the other thing is you tend to want to have your floor fill your screen. So I'm going to grab the floor and fill it out. And I can't quite get this top part of the screen, so one option I have would be to go to the camera, hit the C key, and tilt down enough that my floor now covers the screen. Not quite there, but now if I went hit the C key again and went to this tool, I could slide it back and even up a little bit. Now I'm getting closer. And if I hit the V key and select floor, I can just go ahead and stretch it the rest of the way. Now my floor covers the entire screen, which just means my environment map will be reflected across the entire screen, unless I choose to move the camera in a way that it isn't. So <clears throat> we've already lit this with the animate uh, option. Um, let's go ahead and go down to our text and get it ready to accept the environment map. And in doing that, we can delete the animator for the light because we're going to have the environment map light it instead. Uh, and then I want to go down to material options and set its reflection intensity to 100% because again it's going to be reflecting the environment map not its colors. So finally now I'm going to grab my environment map <clears throat> which I downloaded from an HDRI website. It was free. I just had to create an account and make it 3D. And now I'm just going to need to basically tell this to be the, the environment map. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to go up to layer, environmental layer, click on it, and it will change this into the lighting source for my 3D text and the 3D reflection. Now if this wasn't cool enough, you can go in here and hit the R key under the environment map and change the direction. Try playing with the X rotation. and ch Change it 90 degrees. And watch what happens. <clears throat> we get a different look and a different effect. Again, we can do it 180. And we'll get a whole different set of effects. Now you can see the green from the trees reflecting off the white. There's a lot, nothing but green from the trees. Uh, and so that is essentially what we were doing. Now, if we wanted to create just a quick move on this with the camera, we could go up to camera, hit P for position, and add a keyframe, and then pull this down a few seconds, and hit the C key, and maybe straighten out our text, maybe even drop it down so you can see below the environment map something like that. Now again, I'm just using the guides now to animate because it renders way too slow to do this in real time. So we could try something like maybe that. Now I'm going to have black behind the environment map. That's okay. <clears throat> we could try spinning it around and see what it does. All right, got me in the ballpark. Really cool looking texture up in there. So anyways, that's how we create uh, that's how we create 3D text with an environment map and a reflection in 
very little time. 